Manchester United won Wolves nil first game of the season with a win the three points and that's the most important thing was it the best performance for Manchester United no were there some positives to take yes I think people will be overly negative I know that a lot of people expected Wolves to go down but you never know Wolves might have a solid season and maybe we're underestimating Wolves I thought Wolves were particularly good today and they they've shown something today but there were some positives, but it was mostly negative, starting with the midfield, the midfield three of Casemiro, Mason Mount, Bruno Fernandes, I don't think works for me. We're not very good at progressing the ball. We're not good in possession. Casemiro needs help and build up, and that massively cost Manchester United. I think positives for Jane Sancho. I think that the presence of Amrabat is needed. I literally, if I could sum up this game in one word, I would say Manchester United need to sign Amrabat. Manchester United got to sign Amrabat or we're going to be in trouble. Amrabat is exactly what we need and what we're missing. I also cannot wait until Hoyland's back from injury because Marcus Rashford needs to play out wide. I'm not going to be too negative on Garnacho. I'm not going to be too negative or reactionary. It's the first game of the season. And what I will say is first two games of the season, last season, we lost against Brighton, against Brentford. Tenog saw it wasn't working. He changed his system. Tenog said today after the match, Manchester United were not good enough in possession. He was happy with what we did out of possession and we were good out of possession. Mount and Bruno pressed really hard at the pitch. We won the ball well high up the pitch and we were good at possession. But in possession, we were poor. In possession, we were not good on the ball. Our passing was not good. We were not good at build up and we were not making those runs because Anana had the ball and no one was making runs. And I thought Anana was excellent today. And I think that we did get away with one and it should have been a Wolves penalty. And Wolves had 23 shots and Wolves probably deserved the three points today. I'm not going to lie. But luckily, Varane bailed us out with that quality. And I think people will be very negative. People will be reactionary on the game. But I think Ten Hag saw what wasn't working, like we saw what wasn't working. And I think there will be a few changes made. And I think Ten Hag will be pushing for Amrabat because it's very obvious that United need to sign Amrabat. One, just I look at that game, all I can say is we need to sign Amrabat. And I have to say, to win a game 1-0 and not feel that happy, I don't feel happy. And I'm saying I don't want to be negative and I don't want to be too negative, but I'm not happy. We won the game 1-0 and I'm really not happy with what I saw from Manchester United. I can't say all they're tired in the first game of the season. There was no, the tempo was poor. I guess the tempo was poor the first two games of last season and then we upped it. The tempo was poor. It was rusty. Maybe they're not used to playing this kind of new formation. I don't know what it is, but it was not good today. Build-up was poor. Possession was poor. Tempo was poor. The, fluid, the fluidity in the passes lacked. It was not good. It was a relief when Varane scored. I couldn't. Even, I wasn't even like super happy to celebrate. It was a relief. It was an absolute relief when Varane scored. And I thought, you know what I'm going to say? Wan Bissaka was our biggest threat in attack. That speaks volumes when Wan Bissaka was the biggest threat in attack today. Because Wan Bissaka, he's not known for his attacking prowess. Rashford. People be very negative about Rashford. Rashford didn't do much wrong today. It's not really his fault. He's in an isolated position. He's playing out of position as a striker. And I won't be too critical on Rashford, but when he scores 30 goals and his best possession is a left winger, we need to be playing him left wing. Sancho played in pre-season centre forward excellently. And Sancho comes on and is arguably probably the best player on the pitch when he came on. I thought Ericsson was good when he came on and really helped us get control of the game as well. For me, next game, Sancho's got to play centrally, Rashford's got to play on the left because we've got Tottenham Hotspur next. And if we play like we did against Wolves versus Tottenham Hotspur, especially away from home against the big nine, you know what we're like, we will struggle. So for me, I love Alejandro Garnacho, and I people people say no, he's, he's not that good. He's a championship player. He needs to loan. Yeah, Garnacho. I told you he's not ready. People, it's one game. It's one game. For me, I'm not even going to bother criticizing or being negative about Garnacho because we, he's going to be inconsistent. He is 18 years old. He's going to have good games. He's going to have bad games. But at the end of the day, I've been saying it's about Garnacho. He is very good against tired legs. He's good against a slow fallback. He's going to have weaknesses. He's going to need to improve. He's going to be need to get. He's going to need to get more physical. Yes, but Garnacho is a good player. It's natural at 18 to be inconsistent, and there's so much reactionary stuff. If Garnacho has one bad game, people write him off. Garnacho could start versus Spurs and score a hat trick, and the same people that were saying he was done will be saying, "Oh, Garnacho's the best player in the world again." People are reacting to game to game to game. We need to try and get out of this thing where we see one poor game and we just react. Garnacho was poor. But there's no doubt in my mind, Ganacho was fantastic a week ago against RC Lens and we're all hyping him up. We'll have good games from Ganacho, we'll have poor games. At the end of the day, Ganacho was best off the bench as an impact up against tired legs. I think Luke Shaw was good today, but I think he could have helped out Ganacho more. I will say that. Anthony was poor. 
Um, Anthony got the ball a lot. He's too predictable with the ball, and I need to see more from Anthony. I do help think once you get someone like Rasmus Hoyland in, an actual proper striker, proper focal point, that will help out Anthony. But he is predictable, okay? But do you know what the most poor thing for me today was? was Casemiro. And it's not even Casemiro's fault. I was not impressed with Casemiro whatsoever today. He was very sloppy. He was very poor. He got beaten a lot. But it's not his fault. Because you know what? As good as Casemiro is, or as good as we think he is, he's not able to play play on his own without two eights. He's not able to play on his own with two eights. He, he, he's not good enough on the ball to be left isolated. And Juan Bissaka and, and Varane are not good enough in build-up to be left isolated. I said this, I tweeted this, I said Manchester United are too reliant on Casemiro. He clearly needs more support from midfield. Out of possession, midfield's been all right, but in possession, poor, which means we cannot gap control of the game. 25 mil, I would be getting Amrabat done tonight if it was me. Casemiro is left on his own because Bruno and Mount are pushing really hard at the pitches, two eights. But Casemiro's good off the ball, but Casemiro struggles in build-up, struggles in possession. And we saw in that game that Casemiro could not get the ball from the second phase to the third, third phase. We weren't getting the ball well out the phases. But also because Casemiro was left alone, there was a big hole in the midfield and Mateus Cunha ran through the midfield and there was Casemiro struggling because Mateus Cunha was just running through the midfield. And we were split open and, and Casemiro was poor. And that says to me today, as good as Casemiro is, he needs support. We've either got to play Bruno Fernandes a lot deeper, like we did when we played Bruno next to Sabitzer, because Casemiro had all those suspensions. Or we need to say, you know what, we need to sign Amber back to play next to Casemiro. Because we need a midfielder that's able to build, that's good at build-up, that's good in possession, that can also offer defensive support. Because we left Casemiro too isolated, and, and he struggled. I love Casemiro. I think he's a fantastic player, but he was poor in pre-season. He struggled again today. I'm concerned about him. When Casemiro is isolated, teams can just dribble and pass through him quickly. It was like seeing McFred today. Just Teams just went psh, right through us. you know. And, and Casemiro is not at his peak anymore. He's not this superhuman. It's, it's crazy he was last season. He's not He's not a superhuman. You know, the 2 eights isn't working. We need Casemiro, another player, then, then another player. This 2 eights experiment for me isn't working. I thought the 2 eights were good off the ball, Bruno and Matt, but they left Casemiro on his own. And in terms, I think the problem with United was was retention of the ball, control in the midfield, um, and also build up. We couldn't build the move. We couldn't build up well. We were moving the ball slowly. There were spaces that was never open because none of the players were making runs off the ball. When we had possession, who was making the runs? And no one had possession so many times. But who was making the runs? No one. You could see that we got the ball in, in, in dangerous positions and there was times where we were good on the transition, but then we'd get the ball to Garnacho and, and Anthony and they didn't do anything. When we were moving the ball forward, we were moving it out wide. We completely avoided the middle of the pitch. Games are won and lost in midfield. Games are won and lost in the centre of the pitch. The centre of the pitch, because that's where you control games. That is where you control games. The centre of the pitch today, we kind of avoided and build up. We kept trying to play out wide. It became predictable. The fullbacks were dealing with our wingers fine. And we avoided the middle for the whole, the whole first half. And we were avoiding the middle because Casemiro could not get the ball to Anthony could not get the ball away to Mount and Bruno. We could, not, we could not transition from that second phase into that third phase. We could not build up well because we are lacking a midfielder that is good in possession, that is good in build up. Anana is not that player of Everton. Anana is not that player. Amrabat is that player. I will tell you that now. Amrabat is that player. And the reason we was not good is because Mount and because Bruno and Mount uh, are both behind the midfield, which is forcing our passes passes forward quickly, which is just lacking control. I think we want to be a transition team, but we're actively avoiding the midfield. And the, it's, 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 it's a new season, but it's the same problem. The ability to progress in the first and second phases to create good moves other than counter-pressing situations, we can't do. Anana has only made weak links in outfield clearer. So as good as Anana is in outfield, and we need to solve that issue. And I think Tenog saw that today. I think Tenog's post-match comment that United... Um, weren't good enough today. I think Tenag will solve that issue. But Wolves had 23 shots. Wolves had an XG of 2.2 to our 1.4. Wolves deserve something from that game. We are very lucky. We walk away from this game going, you know what? We are extremely lucky. Extremely, extremely lucky. Because Wolves deserve something from that. I'm going to say Anana was excellent. He made key slaves. I think there was good moments. I think that Mount was good off the ball, but not on the ball. I think that we need to stop leaving Casemiro isolated. I think we need to sign Amrabat. I thought Varane was good. I thought Wambasaka was good. Potentially, Luke Shaw's not comfortable playing inverted. I think Sancho was good. I thought Ericsson coming on and dropping deeper and playing closer to Casemiro gave us more control of the game. 
and I'm not going to think too reactionary. It's one game, and I'm going to trust enough to, to change it for our next game. So I hope that makes sense. Smash a like, smash a subscribe. Thank you for watching. I know that the lighting is absolutely horrific, um, so I hope it's not too annoying. See you next time. Bye.